Welcome to the Celiac Diva! Hi everybody, Lauren and Lucille Vassar here from the Celiac Diva and today we're talking about additional food intolerances when it comes to having celiac disease or gluten sensitivity. You may be wondering why you still don't feel well, why you might have weight gain or joint problems or concentration problems or maybe rashes or bloating. You know, the range of food intolerance symptoms are as wide as the range of having celiac disease and those symptoms. So it can be a little hard to nail down but it's definitely one option to look into if you don't still feel well after going gluten-free. So it's something to talk to your doctor about or your lovely dietitian. Okay, so a um, question that I had was like, why do I have additional food intolerances? I've already gone gluten-free, what is the problem? Um, one reason you might, or I had additional food intolerances is that I had something called leaky gut syndrome. It's where there are small holes in the lining of your stomach and so, proteins and toxins leak through that lining into your bloodstream and as a result your body recognizes a lot of foods as foreign entities and just really causes some problems and a lot of food intolerances so for me once I got tested through Cyrex labs and found out that I had leaky gut syndrome through my dietitian a lot of regular MDs don't test for it but my dietitian did and I'll put the link up to him and to the Cyrex labs on my website so you can look into that option if you'd like to so once I healed my leaky gut um, it took almost a year by doing grain free dairy free aloe vera and some different options like that then a lot of my most of my food intolerances completely vanished and it was amazing so it was like a whole new world opened up to me once my gut had completely sealed and healed up so that was de that's definitely an option to look into as far as seeing why you might have food intolerances um okay another reason you might have food intolerances is you just might have food intolerances <laughs> That just may be how your body rolls. So you might want to also do some testing to see what else you're intolerant to. Um, there's a test called the ALCAT test. It, it is expensive, and so that's kind of a bummer. The positive to it is it tests for a lot of different foods, like random stuff. And I, I have done that test, and um, it was definitely overwhelming at the time. However, I did it before I went before I did the leaky gut test, so I wish I would have done the leaky gut stuff first and then the food intolerance test next. That's what I wish I would have done. But you live and learn, right? So anyway, there's a test called the ALCAT test. There's also a test called the um, inter, inter, intero lab test, pardon me. And that, um, that type of lab, what they do, they test for like the main ones, which is like milk, soy, um, you know, corn, things like that. These tests for some of the big ones. So that's also an option if you suspect some of those. <clears throat> pardon me the third option is to do the elimination diet which is where you say for a week 10 days at a time depending on what your you and your doctor are comfortable with take out the culprit which you suspect to be the culprit say you take out dairy and see how your body reacts and keep a food journal of it i've done all three of these tests all three have been helpful to me in nailing down what's uh, going on with my body so those are definitely options to look into as to see what your additional food intolerances are so Hope this has been helpful and I hope you guys have a fantastic gluten-free day and I'll talk to you next time.